is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony and today we are in the all new 2020 bmw 750i x drive courtesy of apple bmw in york pa this thing has everything so many packages on this one so i am quite excited so as always, let's start with pricing. And so pricing for the 2020 750i X Drive will start at $102,650. And of course, once you add on a couple of packages, the price does tend to climb kind of quickly. This one MSRPing for approximately $120,000. But so that when it comes to the power plant, the 750i will be powered by a 4.4 liter twin power turbocharged V8 engine, putting out 523 horsepower at 5,500 RPM. Five 553 pound-feet of torque available from the power band of 1800 to 4600 rpm power of course into all four wheels through bmw's full-time x drive all-wheel drive system and that power is going to be sent to the ground through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters what you guys know we will be testing out in a little bit here but so when you add all of that together zero to 60 time comes in at approximately 3.9 seconds top speed 155 miles per hour electronically limited of course with mpg numbers coming in at 17 in the city 25 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel but so then before we do any kind of paddle shifter test or acceleration test here do want to mention there are some driving modes located just to the left of the shifter they will include eco pro adaptive comfort comfort plus and sport and so i've been leaving it mostly in sport mode but the driving mode i think most people will probably enjoy the best maybe even myself is the adaptive driving mode because what that one actually does is adapt to your driving style so therefore if you do tend to floor it a lot it's going to automatically throw you in that sport mode without you having to change it or if you are stuck in rush hour traffic it is going to automatically throw you in the eco pro comfort mode to save some mpgs there so it's kind of like the bmw has a mind of its own and it knows what's best for you so that's a pretty cool driving mode for that reason but either way those driving modes are going to adjust things like the shift points the throttle response steering sensitivity and the suspension tuning as well but so now that I have all of that covered. I think you guys know what we have to do next. Already have it in that sport driving mode, my personal favorite. So what do you say? And actually to put it in that manual shift mode, if you wanted to go that route with just the paddle shifters, car not shifting for you, what you're gonna wanna do is slide the shifter all the way to the back and to the left. And that is gonna give you full control over the shifting. So with that being said, I think you guys know what we have to do here. Let's downshift and we're in second gear. Let's, uh, let's test out the paddle shifters. <laughs> oh my goodness this car is fast as stink and i didn't even push it but dang those paddle shifters react quick absolutely no issues with reaction times absolutely love them but now that i've got that out of my system you guys i think it is time for a nice little acceleration test without the paddle shifter so i'm just going to slide the shifter back to the right there and that is going to let the car do the shifting so got a little uphill climb here but i have a feeling the 750i is it's not going to phase it so come to a stop and let's hit the gas oh, <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh I, I i'm lost for words man the zero to 60 and 3.9 in an all-wheel drive system feels so much different than zero to 60 and 3.9 in my own mustang gt this thing immediately puts the power to the ground this acceleration is absolutely amazing possibly because of that full-time x drive all-wheel drive system but there was no spinning instant power instant acceleration on demand i'm absolutely in love with that acceleration essentially but so then to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so of course you will find four wheel ventilated disc brakes as expected along with composite front rotors and brake pad wear indicators and by the way when it comes to the braking feel yep not gonna have any issues there but that's so touching on handling and suspension a little bit up front you will find a double wishbone multi-link aluminum front suspension in the back an integral v multi-link aluminum rear suspension with twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers and a two axle self-leveling air suspension system this one is quite cool because reason i mentioned this there's actually a little button for the air suspension system kind of to the back left hand corner of the shifter there but so what that means essentially is that you can manually adjust the ride height so or somebody's 
somebody's driveway that lives way out in the country that is not paved perhaps, you can therefore raise up that air suspension to give you a better ride height so you don't end up clipping any rocks or anything like that. So that is definitely quite nice as well. And then if you wanted to, if you planned on taking this thing to the track because it's absolutely ridiculously fast, you could therefore then lower the suspension once again, giving you a little better aerodynamics if you wanted it. So another cool little tidbit though when it comes to the 2027 series suspension is it does now come with a carbon core. It even says it right behind the driver's side door there. Carbon core or carbon fiber, meaning a much stiffer, more durable structure. So that's definitely nice as well. And of course you have the adaptive damping system as well. So that is definitely gonna help out with the ride quality as well as if you're doing some heavy cornering, it's gonna tighten up the suspension during heavy cornering, giving you less body roll and better handling overall. So really the best of both worlds there. And honestly, that's probably the first thing I noticed when I got into this seven series is it is possibly the smoothest ride I have ever experienced. And I've reviewed probably 350, 400 cars at this point. This thing has an insanely smooth ride. Absolutely no issues with it soaking up PA's road imperfections. It's, it's really quite amazing. As far as the steering feel goes, it feels nice. It is as expected, not too heavy, but not too loose either. Probably leaning a little towards the heavier side of things, which I do happen to like. Not only that, I always have liked this in BMWs. The bolsters on the steering wheel are definitely on the larger side. So I guess what I'm saying is I like the way the steering wheel feels in your hands. Definitely gives you a better feeling of control. So that's pretty nice as well. When it comes to cabin noise, not a whole lot of exterior noises coming into this cabin. Of course, you would expect that in a $120,000 car. If you guys do hear some air, it's basically just the climate control system because I don't want to sweat when I'm making the video, but cabin noise is definitely quite nice. And when it comes to visibility, this is probably one of my favorite parts. I've never seen this before in a vehicle. Yes, it's great visibility, but it goes beyond that because it also has auto dimming rear view and side view mirrors so you guys can see that in the shot I'm showing you right now it's pretty darn cool I've driven other cars that have had that but I've never actually seen it in action so kind of tints the mirrors in like a bluish hue dimming them of course so any lights behind you aren't blinding you so that's kind of cool too but anyways let's now make our way to the exterior because there is a ton on the exterior not to mention the interior that makes this thing so freaking special so let's move on to the exterior it's the first thing I wanted to mention on the exterior is the 7 Series has been redesigned for the 2020 model year, definitely for the better in my opinion. Up front you will find 40% to be specific, 40% more front grille making for a bolder statement up front and of course that being an active kidney front grille with a flap swing open and shut depending on if additional cooling is needed for the engine or not. To the sides, Icon Adaptive LED headlights will come standard, adaptive meaning the headlights will swivel based on the direction that you are turning better illuminating what's around the bend at night so you don't go hitting any deer that's definitely nice automatic headlamps of course will come standard but also automatic high beams come standard as well and led daytime running lights that's expected but also some additional cues in the front bumper to help direct air around the wheel and tire as well then make your way to the side you will find power folding heated side mirrors and they will come of course with integrated led turn signals as well taking a look down at the wheel setup 19 inch alloy wheels with run flat tires will come standard however there are seven other wheel options available including the 20 inch design that you are now looking at also wanted to mention on the side actually there are ground illuminating lights within the exterior door handles and that's what you're looking at right now i found that pretty cool as well and yet another additional feature on the side i have to mention is the soft closed doors so meaning if you don't shut the door all the way the car will kind of suck the door in like a vacuum definitely a high-end feature found on high-end vehicles like the bmw 7 series so that's pretty cool make your way to the back adaptive led brake lights again standard and just below it all integrated dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips so guys know what we have to do next the first before we do this i wanted to mention depending on the driving mode it will adjust the exhaust note slightly if you keep it in comfort it's going to be a little quieter however if you put it in that sport driving mode the exhaust note will be a little more pronounced so i'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys and as always here is that exhaust clip Now, since we are around back when it comes to opening that rear trunk, easiest way I had found is just simply press the button on the key fob, but it is all powerized, so there's no manual lifting you have to do with that trunk lid. But 
Once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 18.2 cubic feet, and there is a power outlet in the trunk as well. Making our way up to the rear legroom, perhaps the most I've experienced personally, 44.4 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in the back there. Also wanted to mention there is four zone climate control that comes standard with the 7 Series, meaning those two rear passengers both can each set their own temperatures back there. So that's pretty cool back there as well. And the list goes on for the rear passengers, including a rear seat center armrest with the tablet holder with cup holders. And there's some optional features for them as well, including rear window sunshades, which we happen to have, ventilated and heated rear seats available for the rear passengers, along with massaging rear seats as well, if you wanted it. And that all comes with the luxury rear seating package that goes for $3,900. So it's there if you wanted it. Reclining rear seats with the footrest is available as well. But overall, seating is definitely quite comfortable. And I forgot to mention there's illuminated vanity mirrors for those rear passengers that's an option as well but we do happen to have it so had to mention it along with a large rear window sunshade as well so really the perfect car for a vampire at least if you're in the back seat but making your way up to the front seats 20-way power adjustable front seats will come standard along with four-way power lumbar they of course will come heated and ventilated along with the massaging feature that will come standard on the new 750i so that is quite nice after a long day at work you drive home getting a massage it's always a good thing and that seating will be finished in a napa leather regardless of what setup that you go with but looking forward there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel it will come leather wrapped also it will come heated then when it comes to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here and we do happen to have the m sport package today so you do have the m colors on the side of the key but it is a heavier weighted key definitely feels very high quality you got your lock unlocking a button to pop the rear hatch and for those of you who don't know that bmw logo in the middle that is going to be your lock button but then to start this one there is a push button start just to the right of the gauges there is a remote start that's available with the cold weather package that's going to add 750 dollars but i am simply just going to put my foot on the brake here and press that engine start button and so but then once started up there is a digital gauge cluster 12.3 inches to be exact that will come standard on this one speedometer is going to be on your left along with the digital speedometer tachometer is on your right and there is a navigation display that will display front and center and in addition to that there is also a head up display projected on your windshield giving you things like again your digital speedometer along with the speed limit of any given road and it also tells you other things like if you need to fasten your seat belt navigation information etc but now let's take a look at my personal favorite part of this one the overall interior quality quilted stitching within the leather will of course come standard and there are several wood trim options including chestnut american dark oak poplar wood trim and there's actually several more options in addition to that as well ambient lighting will come standard universal garage door will come standard but perhaps my favorite optional feature that we do happen to have on this one today is the panoramic sky lounge led roof so essentially what that does is it takes that led lighting that you currently have the ambient led lighting and it gives you that within the panoramic moonroof and at night you guys can't really tell now but at night it kind of looks like led little stars on the moonroof it looks absolutely amazing and of course you can change up that color as well it's just like the ambient lighting you can adjust the color up there that's part of the executive package and that package goes for thirty nine hundred dollars if you were interested but that is probably my favorite favorite interior feature on this one but also standard wireless phone charger there's plenty of usb charging ports in this thing as well so all in all very high end finish to this bmw 750i very impressed let's make our way now to the tech display a 10.25 inch high resolution color touchscreen display will come standard and there is some new technology here as well including users can now configure up to 10 different pages moving around different icons as needed much like a tablet to kind of make things more convenient if you wanted to and of course just like some of the other BMWs, this tech display does respond to gesture control as well. My personal favorite is turning my finger in a circle, turning up and down the volume. I always enjoy doing that in BMWs. Bluetooth and audio streaming will come standard, and perhaps my only constructive criticism on this entire car is Apple CarPlay will come standard with a one-year trial, meaning you have to pay for it after that one year is up. Also, no Android Auto available for this one, so my lonely phone is out on this one, but factory navigation will come standard, which is essentially what I use Android Auto for, so that's nice. And of course, you can check out your radio settings up there. When it comes to the sound system, you will get a 16-speaker Harman Kardon surround sound system with 600 watts, so 
You guys know what we have to do next. Let's turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning, and let's test out the clarity of this one. Okay, bass is insane. That's a given, but wow, clarity substantially better than most cars. I would say 99% of the cars I reviewed, the clarity is spot on. You can definitely tell there are 16 speakers in this thing. It comes at you from every angle. And again, the clarity is amazing. But then on the tech display, last thing I wanted to mention there is when you do put the 750i in reverse, you will find a rear view camera where you can adjust the angles as well when you put it in reverse. And it is a 360 degree view camera. So meaning you have that top down view as well. So really, you're going to have absolutely no issues when you're backing up. But anyways, that is going to lead me into safety. And so as expected, you will find front side and side curtain airbags. In the back, you have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. But when it comes to the latch, one of the cool things about this one, which I've never seen, is to get to the latch anchors, you have a tiny little zipper that you have to zipper down. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that and I love different. So that is definitely a cool little thing I wanted to mention. Also, when it comes to standard safety on the 750i, you will get daytime pedestrian detection, frontal collision warning with city collision mitigation, speed limit recognition technology as i mentioned to you guys lane departure warning blind spot detection with rear cross traffic alert adaptive cruise control and auto dimming rear view mirror and driver's side exterior mirror and there's also one additional safety package i wanted to mention being the driving assistance professional package that goes for 1700 dollars but that's going to give you specifically something that i wanted to mention called traffic jam assist and this is where the 750i really takes full control steering the car for you keeping it centered in the lane but it also maintains a desired distance from the vehicle in front of you and it speeds up and slows down as needed so you really don't have to do anything when you're in a traffic jam but so anyways that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video and subscribe i had a blast doing this one appreciate you guys joining me feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and i will see you guys in the next video stay gold